Hi, and welcome to TFLP Microcasters. It is Tuesday, what is it? March 17th, so yeah, St. Patrick's Day. Woo! So uh, I get to uh, celebrate St. Patrick's Day with two of my favorite people, Christian and Anna. Well, that's so nice of you. That was really sweet to say. Thank you. Lydia. Yeah. I didn't even know it was St. Patrick's Day, so I appreciate the sentiment. I'm wearing uh, green. Did you, you weren't wearing your green, Anna? Uh, there's probably this. This shirt has flowers on it, so there's definitely green. There there you go. So, yeah, I'll be good. Teal, it's actually teal. Does teal count? I feel like teal counts. Sure. Why not? I, I've been getting gonna... so there's no one around me. I've been getting pinched by my kids all day because I actually forgot to put a green shirt on. So there you are. Wow. So. Uh, ask them after the show if teal counts. I, I'm sure that they'll be like, sure. Nice. Except for they'll be in bed, but you know. I also have red hair, so I feel like that get that gets me by. So. Yeah, I do miss that. It did get me by. Like, I could wear whatever I wanted on St. Patrick's Day when I had red hair. Not anymore. There, there you go. So, yeah, I uh, I was spending the time before this listening to uh, the Dropkick Murphys had a, uh, a live stream concert. So, they were supposed to be doing a concert in Boston. Awesome. And, uh, yeah, you can go check it out on their page. But, uh, so they decided to, like, set it up and do a live stream to everybody since, you know, like... They couldn't actually have a concert, um, so. That's cool. I last heard that they were planning on that, not that it was actually going to go through, so that's awesome. Good for them. Yeah. It is cool. It, it was good. Although it was weird, like, not hearing any crowd noise, like, kind of thing, you know, like, in between mm -hmm. songs and whatnot, like, so. But, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's been quite a week. It's an only Tuesday. Yeah, if you're listening to us in the, in the far-flung future, we're in the middle of a virus outbreak. <laughs> if, if we're the only oh, yeah. of civilization that remains, that's what we're doing. That's what the right now is for us. In fact, this is all our, all our civilization did was talk about Transformers. Yeah, there you go. So. This was actually the national pastime of our country. Ooh, you're right. We have nothing else to do, so you know we can sit here and have <laughs> podcasts about Transformers, since there's like no sports. Because we do this every Tuesday anyway. True. Yeah, without fail. And and we were actually well, at least I wasn't going to be on because originally I was going to Orlando, as I said last week, and of course that didn't happen. Um, so. So yeah. Yeah, not the place to go right now. So, yeah, but decided to have a staycation. So here we are. So, yep. Yeah. Ready to talk about not this toy, but something that looks just like it, but it's larger. Boom, we're talking about this toy. This is Earthrise Grapple. Earthrise Grapple. And how, <laughs> how incredibly amazing he is, even better than any of the third party or masterpiece, right? He's so nope. dope. I love him so much. And uh, I don't know. I don't know if you Good. noticed that I I tried my best and I almost like was able to pose him, like not showing off any of the like um, like open spots or whatever. Like I don't know if you noticed on my on my picture. I appreciate your valiant efforts <laughs> to deceive the viewers into thinking that this is a gapless figure. So yeah. Yeah, but you know what? I, I really appreciate it. I I am one hundred percent certain that some company is going to make gap fillers just like they did with every other siege figure or whatever. So it'll be okay. Oh, they will. Those gaps are getting filled <laughs> for other people. I don't own this figure, so they're going to talk about it. I'm going to just be here. So, I, I guess, Anna, the reason... Is. Now, you messed around with my uh, my grapple figure, right? I did. Um, so, 
and you liked it, I guess. I mean, I got spoilers, but, you know, whatever. I guess you're waiting for the, like, fifth repaint of it because <coughs> they got you with Siege, but not with Earthrise, right? You're like, hey, I'm going to be waiting for the for whatever repaint they do, right? That's right. I'm hoping for the green duder to get made so that I can get that one so they don't have the green duder. Red duder, red duder, and... Anna, you're roboting already. Like, we're, we're not even... We're, like, five minutes in. and Well, good. This is how it's going to be the whole show. Anyway, as so I was saying... You're waiting for I, Holler? And, yeah, and your background looks so boring now, too. The red one. And There's no fun the robots behind you. One and the lonely without his gun friend one. So I need the green one. Holler. Holler. So, yeah, if we want to go ahead and a little bit jump to the end for at least my opinions, I want all of those from this mold. Give them to me now. Give me Inferno, give me Artfire, give me Holler, give me whatever else. I will take every single one of them. Yeah, so I've heard, I've heard people say that that figure that you're currently holding looks pretty much exactly like the G1 version, and that perhaps it's a little too similar to the G1 version because it didn't really look like a fire truck in the first place. What do you guys think? How... How is oh, okay. being 2G1 Whatever. a Try. bad thing? Like, is this... <laughs> like... I've never looked at a G1 close enough to be able to make that comparison. Yeah, I apparently don't have my Inferno anymore. I thought I... I would not have thought I would have sold that, but apparently I did. I have a G2 Inferno. I don't have a grab. Yeah, I had a G2 Inferno. I mean, it's the same thing, mostly. Right, right. Yeah, um, it is, it is very similar. a G2. To the original. So it's kind of like, you know, it's not really like a... It's kind of a weird truck that turns into a robot, not so much like a continuous clean truck. You know, like how how Hoist and most of the car guys, you know, they all make very clean figures. But, you know, this is clearly a rolly thing with arms on its back. Uh, I mean, I don't, I, I don't, I don't think that at all. No, I like, I mean, that. I think that the <laughs> the uh, G one one, yeah. I mean, I guess you could say that, but I don't know. I, I don't think that this one's like that. I'm glad. Uh, it's pretty clean to me. Yeah, I'm very happy. I, do, I don't have them in vehicle mode yet, so you have that. But um, I did. Now I'm going to robot mode. Yeah, I guess I guess uh, whenever I transform, I mean the thing that's uh, great about this one. I mean, I'm also showing it off on my camera compared to the um, uh, generations one <coughs> that came out. And you know, the funny thing is, is like I actually thought that generations mold, like I really enjoyed it. I thought it was one of the better older generations in general, like back in the day. Like I, I like a few years ago. And then I got this one. I'm like, man, this this new one is so much better than that one. I mean, like this old one just has so much kibble on it. Um, the like crane is just kind of hanging off of his arm. Um, I mean, I guess there's more plastic and everything to it. Like, I don't mind the mold itself. I have legit hated that mold since it came out. I like that yeah. one. It's interesting. I don't, I mean, I, I like it. I think it's, it's a decent mold, but like, again, this new one, um, is just such a fantastic update. I think really, I mean, I have, I have a couple criticisms. I mean, I don't think that the hollowness is really that bad. Like if you look at it in, um, I think they hide it pretty well. I think that really the the uh the arms have it but again i like the fact that they are able to do a really cool feature where um you can flip out the hand and then um you can either have the little crane part on the one hand or you can have his hose uh plugged into it 
um, which is really cool too. And I love what they did. Like, it was just so thoughtful how they did the little crane hose part where there's like a little spot. And I, I know like a lot of people I saw on Twitter where they actually like thought that they didn't get the little hose part whatever nozzle because, yeah, because it was, it's, it's got dedicated storage. Yeah. Cause they didn't realize it's it was awesome. like sitting there on the back of it. So, um, this figure reminds me a lot of the, um, the make toys one. Um, the yes. version of, of, it's close to that. I think, and, and I actually, ironically enough, think that this does it a little bit better. Like, the Make Toys one, and I don't have that one anymore. Um, do, like, do you guys have the Make Toys one anymore? I've never had it. I have Inferno. Um, but, like, the back is of the Make Toys one is actually, like, pretty hollow. Um, and, like, this one is not, like, the back is not really hollow at all. Like, it closes up really well. Um, and I think that this actually kind of reminds me of the way it collapses. Um, reminds me a little of the MMC one as well. And Anna, you have that, the MMC. Yeah, I have it right here. Mold, the Inferno. His head thinner isn't on right at the moment because I pulled it off. But, yeah, it's red one is here. But, like, I'm assuming that that's what, when Inferno comes out eventually... Like, that's um, what I'm assuming he's kind of going to look like. He'll be closed, yeah. He'll be closed. I think there's he'll, definitely... He'll redo, he'll redo there's definitely... Section. Yeah. There's definitely stylistic differences that they chose to do in this figure. But, yeah, I think it'll be very similar. Right. Um, but, yeah, I mean, overall, this is like a... I mean, the thing that I love about this is, is again, it reminds me of the third-party versions that I had, but it's somewhat simplified from those versions, so it's really easy to go from one mode to the other, which I just, you know, again, it's like, I, I, it kind of reminds me of, uh, uh, of some of the Legends ones, I guess, but these are a little more substantial, like, you know, they're just a little bit bigger, so... Um, pretty easy to flip back and forth yeah it did remind me a lot when i was playing with yours it reminded me a lot of this one of the um magic square one and i mean to me it's a really good thing because i am so i am unabashedly a huge fan of this design of the fire truck or other truck that turns into a robot that looks like this design so um i really think that it's this is one of my favorite versions of it. I'd say, honestly, this one and this one are my two favorites. So that I feel like it captures this pretty well is a compliment to it. I think it's really good. I don't like the hollowness, but, you know, I'm going to complain about that every time we talk about a Hasbro figure. Which hollowness are you talking about? Not the cab, though, right? The, so I think there's a little bit. So the arms, for sure. A little bit there for the hand. Right. So I really, and this is another I one think, of those figures where it loses wrist rotation. I think it here pretty well. Yeah, but I think, again, <laughs> like, to me, I feel like the way that they do that transformation, um, like, it's the same way as, um, oh, gosh, what, what's, the, what's the guy's name with the hook hand? Um, I'm, like, blanking. Lockdown? No, the, the one. No, uh, Ironworks. No, 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 not Ironworks. The yeah, um, the Wrecker one. Fuck. Impactor. Impactor. Yeah, like Impactor, oh. where he has the harpoon hand. Thank you. Sorry, I'm like... I said harpoon, I would have gotten you immediately. Yeah, so the, the harpoon hand, like, it's kind of like that, where I appreciate that it has that. Um, so I, I don't this mind very it as cool. much. Like, I think that that's cool. Like, that it can do that and it's not some crazy thing. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, and this doesn't have wrist rotation either. So, I mean, I'm just complaining. Yeah, there you go. Really you're, you're, good rifle. Your like wonderful magic square, Anna, does not have wrist rotation either. So there It is go. not. I'm really curious if the MFT um, upscale actually has wrist rotation. I'm not actually sure. But anyway, no one cares about my Legends musings. 
care more about I think the gun. It's interesting that they're all so similar. I guess that just means that there's only a few different ways you can make this design turn from a truck into a robot, but yeah, I, I think this does it really well. Yeah, I feel like so I feel I, like you're right. Because they all stay pretty much accurate to the original design. Because to me, like, you know, for years I had a G2 Grapple. And, you know, since given my age, you know, that was basically my, my G1 Grapple. Because I was still a child when I got it. And um, to me, this version of the Infernal, Infernal, <laughs> Inferno Grapple, whatever, reminds me most of the actual way the toy felt. Like, this is how the toy felt to me. This is what I saw when I imagined it, like, you know, Ashley moving around and being neat. Um, so, you know, that's why I have this one. That's why I like it so much. But that thing that you guys have, the Earthrise, is honestly a really good modernization of, you know, kind of a cartoon plus toy look into a nice figure. Like, it's, I really don't have complaints about it, honestly. So really, my my thing is what I go for. That's that's my collection. That's what I. You know, that's what uh, round two of masterpiece was, and I really like that. Now it's what uh, generations is. So I'm good with that too. Right. So my my two complaints, I guess, about the figure in general is one, like when you transform it, the arms like this don't really like lock into place here. I mean, I don't know unless maybe yours do a little bit more, but like when I transform mine. Like, it's it's in place, but, like, if you're messing with it a lot, it really doesn't, like, these kind of don't really tab in. Like, do your, does yours tab in? Yeah, I didn't notice what you're having, but I haven't, I've not opened it today, so I don't have too much experience with it just yet. Yeah, so, like, the, ar you to you. the arms, the arms don't really, like, kind of tab in solidly here, like, they're just kind of, like, there, like, they don't. They don't come out, but they don't, they're not like super, super solid. The other issue is the issue that everyone is having and make sure to be really, really careful. I'll probably like break it on air here, but like the, so up here it tabs into the feet and it's a really like, um, tight connection. And I guess the tabs are, um, are somewhat hollow, right? And so they actually have a tendency to break off um, if you uh, when you transform them back to uh, bot mode. So it's very scary, and you have to be just careful to. I don't know. I need to put some shock oil like inside of it, or shave it down, or something like that. Mine have loosened up a little bit. Um, you know, probably like there we go. But I've just been super duper careful whenever I do it just to make sure that I like grab it right by um, where it tabs in and that I just try to make sure that it like goes straight up. Um, but just be gentle. Yeah. Yeah. So just be like be really, really careful. There's been a lot of people that have broken off the tabs um, transforming the figure back. So. Yeah, that's a very real, I mean, a lot of people have actually done it. I've seen way too many pictures of that. Yep. And I was worried about it when I, I transformed it today, so I just made sure to be gentle with it. Yeah, Randall, it's really weird. Like, I don't I'll know if you can see here, like, yeah, it's like the tabs are, are hollow, which, like, I don't know why they made it like that. I don't know. I'm curious to see how much testing that they did before, like, it went out and if they just couldn't change it or if they just didn't have issues. I, You know, it may just be a tolerance thing to where, you know, the, the test shots that they all had were fine and and then when it went out that, you know, that those were tr trouble. I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised to see a running change of this released later in the line. Yep. Because I'm sure they'll remold the tabs for Inferno. And then they'll use those parts on everything after this one, and they'll probably reissue this one with the tabs. We saw that with uh, Combiner Wars Optimus when they redid the ratchets. They'll probably see yeah. it again. I hope it's better when Green Duder comes out, so I don't break it. 
I, I you know, Anna, you be. seem very um, convinced that that's going to happen. Like, I'm not going to necessarily say for a hundred percent that it's going to. Oh, it's absolutely happening. Well, you know what? It's okay because MFTs put out the green one, so I can get the green one from them if I have to. But I would prefer to have more mold diversity and get this one. He'll be about the same price. I think I'm going to paint the head on mine black. I, I always like black head grapple a little bit more than the orange head grapple. Yeah, I've seen people do that. It actually looks good. Yeah, I, it's a toy versus cartoon thing. And he was in the cartoon for a bit, but I think it would just help break up this orange box. Oh, it really would. Top of his body. So I'll probably do that. Orange head doesn't look bad. He's got a good face. He's got a good head sculpt. It's just all orange in a box, which has always annoyed me about this design. So I'll probably paint it black, make it stand out a bit more. But the the molding itself is very good. Just a face. Yeah, it looks Wait. nice. It's a good face. I'm not sure if he's... Is he supposed to be a wrinkly, grumpy guy? I'm honestly not sure. Not really. Because he's a wrinkly, grumpy guy now. He's kind of a naive, head-in-the-clouds guy. I feel like this face captures that better. But that's okay. Like, a good face is... A good face for a character who hasn't had a whole lot of development over the years is probably better. That's true. Uh, Blue Windows make a return here. I think they're probably going to do that on most of the Autobot characters. We have three out of four so far. Four or five. Yeah, Hoist, Cliff, Optimus, and Grapple all have them. Wheeljack has uh, gray windows. Weirdly enough. So just out of curiosity, so between the two figures of the wave, between Starscream and Grapple, which one do you like better? Why would you ask that question? I'm going to say They're Grapple. Both really good. I think probably Grapple. I'm going to say Grapple just because I like that design better. Like They're both like two of the legitimately good figures from G1. Like The G1 figures were actually cool. But I think I prefer a Grapple Inferno, whatever. Infernal again. <laughs> Keep saying it wrong. Uh, um, in, our, in our Discord chat, um, Rodimus has been talking about how they think the, um, the release is going to go for Inferno, Grapple, Art Fire, and they're using the name Road Hauler instead of just Hauler. I honestly don't know what Green One's name is supposed to be. Green Duder is my name for it. <laughs> hauler in the cartoon, Road Hauler, or Load Hauler in uh, the E Hobby reissue. Gotcha. So, um, I he he put out there that you know retail should get inferno and grapple and i don't feel like that's the direction they're going lately i feel like they're doing like one normal guy and then one weird guy in retail so i feel like it would be you know that retail would get like grapple and then randomly get art fire no Just like out of what, which retail ones yeah, have I'm gotten weird ones i'm trying to remember. i mean other than exclusives smoke screen yeah, you but like Art Fire, the thing is, is select. like like Art Fire is weird. just such an oddball. Like it's not in the U.S. cartoon, so I just well, Barricade got a retail release. Right, but Barricade's a pretty big character yeah. in the U.S. though, like from the movie. Not G One though. There is no G One. No, no, no. But, right, but like it, he's he's a he's a big character now. For like the movie and stuff, so I think that that's. I just don't think Art Fire, like the Japanese ones, to me, I don't feel like are going to get U.S. retail releases. Um, and the I other don't thing, know. the other thing since, that we've been seeing too since is Ricochet is, didn't. Art Fire might not, but I could see like Hauler coming to retail. Using that logic, I think Hauler would be the one that would come. Like I could, I could see being exclusive. Nice like if it's like a Walgreens exclusive or a. Uh, uh, yeah. or something like that kind of thing. I could see, I could, I could uh, potentially see that. So, but our last Walgreens exclusive was freaking Ratchet. How do you get any more mainstream than Ratchet and Transformers line? Yeah, that's true. 
So I don't know. Yeah, Ratchet and Smokescreen being uh, exclusives was weird. But I think it's good. It gives it more exposure to weird characters that we don't get to see more often. I think Barricade was a way yeah. better choice because he's way better colored than Smokescreen. True. I And I technically the Smokescreen was Walmart, right? So, I mean, it's not like... Smokescreen was... Uh, or was it Generation? Was that Selects? Oh, I'm thinking of Blue Streak. Yep. So, yeah, Streaky was... Yeah, yeah. He was but, weird to have but again, Smokescreen is getting a retail release. Like, so I'm wondering if some of those characters that were exclusives or whatever, that they're kind of, they were expecting to, uh, you know, to release this with Earth Horizon. So that's the reason why we didn't see some of those characters. I, I mean, who knows? That's true. Ron makes a good point that most of the exclusives have been deluxes. It's like, we're just assuming that there's going to be a lot of repaints of a Voyager when, you know, there may not be that many repaints of a Voyager, because the only Voyager that got a lot of repaints from Siege was Starscream, right? Mm, probably Megatron got two repaints each. They just were like, Megatron. Yeah. It's like, here's Megatron, and another Megatron, and another Megatron. Yeah, it's true. There's going to be four of that, right? Yeah, Prime never got any different character repaints, except Nemesis Prime, which is still coming, I guess. Well, Megatron yeah, never got a different character. He just got his, like, awkward teenager phase. And his G2. You know, I, as often as we were getting selects last year, and it seemed like we were getting selects every month for a little bit, I really do hope they expand that even more this year. I don't know. I feel like selects has died down. I hope it hasn't, because I like the idea. I really do like the idea. I think it's cool. It just it just feels well, like it have, isn't as prolific. We have one. We have one that's announced right now, beyond the Seacons. The cassetters. The, uh, the cassette cassette pack. As far as I know, those are still due in May, so my, that'll be great. My theory. After that, you know, we get to see a couple of these. What's your theory? I was going to say, my theory about the selects has always been that it's like whatever they couldn't sell as exclusives it, that they ended up releasing as selects. And so that that was like they were essentially planned. Like they're like, here, Walmart or Amazon or whoever. And so they've been having more success recently with getting the exclusive or with selling the exclusives and a lot of those have sold out. So I'd be curious if you're, we're actually gonna, just going to see more retail exclusives and fewer selects. I mean, toss them in a cardboard box and send them out. So give me more exclusives. Give me more selects, please. Of course, I don't know. It's, it's really going to be interesting just in general with this whole, you know, everything that's been going on. Um, mm. Like, you know, are are we going to see where we're not going to see as many waves this year? Or is it something where, I mean, I think we are already seeing that uh, the release dates on, on some of these figures wasn't supposed to be until, like, September anyway. Like, it seemed like we're not really getting a lot of stuff in, like, May, June, July as it is. But I, I'd be curious if, like, the way that, because I know they shut down the Hasbro offices um here recently so i'm just curious if like what kind of impact that'll be you know if any on the like or do they have everything kind of planned out and and whatever right. to where it's you know i mean who knows yeah because i mean to be honest this stuff is horrifically non-essential right like <laughs> this is the the last priority for getting things back together after all of this is freaking collector's toys yep yep like, I, I'm a lot more concerned about my ramen supply running out than I am about these toys. So, um, but yeah, I liked Ron's joke that um, Inferno will be the target exclusive because he is red. I mean, I, I also could see it. I mean, even though it, yeah, I mean, again, we had the, uh, what's his name, Red Wing that was a target exclusive. So, and that was red, red card. Red. So. Red, red. That's right. But that could be fun. I think we'll get one of these in like an Amazon pack, like we did with Skywarp last year. I think one of them will show up there. And I'm hoping that um, that Rodimus is right in saying that Artfire will be the one 
to get a pack so that he can come with his gosh darn target master. Good idea. No, I no, this is what's going to happen, that Anna. Stepper was sold without his target master. No, Anna, what's going to happen is they're going to release Artfire, but with no target master, or with the wrong one. Then they're going to release another exclusive six months from now that's going to be the right one. And so, like in the meantime, you'll pick up the Generations Artfire just just for the target master, and then so that you can go with that with that uh, exclusive or whatever and then you'll like be like darn it i have to buy another megatron in order to get the target master whatever and it's gonna be like a 50th repaint of that stupid tetra jet yes who comes with um you know, art fires it, it should be it should be art fire nightstick pinpointer for crosshairs and some animal or a ramp a different color ramp um Pinpointer's coming out with someone, right? Like, he's coming out with the Megatron? Is he? I think he's coming out in the Walmart I think you're Netflix right. box. So Pinpointer's on good. his way. Good. There's For all of you way. losers who didn't get the Legends version. Because <laughs> I did. But. It made him better. He's got knees. But yeah, but yeah, no, Tony. I hope uh, I hope that things die down by TF Expo, but we'll see. Who knows? Yeah, I hope so too. I don't know. I, I'd be really worried if it doesn't by then, because that's pretty much right around this corner for the next school year. So uh, that that won't be fun. But yeah. So yeah. It's exciting. Go by Grapple. He'll make you happy in your quarantine times. Yeah, I will say, say yeah, that. Definitely. When you're picking... Find yourself a way to get Grapple brought to your house. Well, I was going to say, when you go pick up your ramen from Walmart to, uh, you know, go pick up Grapple at the same time. Oh, man. Yeah. So. The wait for ramen right now is intense. You you don't have ramen on like a big pile of ramen in your house? I don't. I don't because I've been eating it. Because when oh. I'm stressed, I eat ramen. Hmm. Yeah, that's bad news. When I'm stressed, I just eat all the salt in the house. Basically, is what happens. So. Mm. Gotcha. Okay. Ramen's one of the first things that yeah. runs out. I was always an Easy Mac guy instead of a ramen guy. I don't like Easy Mac. I think my microwave is polluted so by the microwave. There you go. It's a yeah. lifestyle. My apartment so anyway. did not come with one. I've lived six months without one, and uh, I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, my life might be better without a microwave, probably. So I'm yeah, I, toaster oven. Toaster oven is the way I to go. I'm, I'm team toaster oven. Team toaster oven. It's a convection toaster oven. It's amazing. Yes, isn't it? So much. Oh man, it's so good. Yeah. If we review convection toaster ovens, it's a definitely two thumbs up. <laughs> like, go to Walmart, pick yourself up a grapple, and pick yourself up a convection toaster oven. Your life will change forever. Yeah. Mainly because of that second thing, but also grapple is very good. You should buy them. Yeah. No, I I think, uh, and I've said this before that uh, I think Wave One of Earthrise may be the. F- the best wave ever of Transformers. I'm, I'm putting that out there now just because every figure is really good. It's so G1 and... Except Astro Train. Well, Astro Train's still uh, fine. True. Yeah, I didn't like Astro well, Train. Ooh, I don't like Jack. Astro Train. If anyone out there buys themselves an Astro Train and doesn't want to keep the box, I would really like to have the insert with the... Uh, the piece of the map on it because I bought my Siege Astro Train, so I don't need an Earthrise Astro Train, but I would like to have that piece of the map. So if you would like to sell that to me, or just send it to me, hook a brother up because I definitely need it. Please. Rodimus would like to know what would happen if he put Rapple in the convection toaster oven. Bad things. Don't do it. Yeah, yeah, I would not do that. Toaster oven. After I moved the last time, my sister had stored all of my like portable coffee mugs and blender mugs in there. And so a lid got stuck on one of the heating elements, and I didn't see it when I unpacked it. So oh, I no. put a lid to one of those cups, and it melted plastic real good. Were you able to That's get it off, or was it just... a really long time. 
Uh, I got most of it off, and then it kept smelling like burning plastic, so I had to keep cleaning it until it eventually either I got it all or it burned itself out. Why can't we buy Transformers on Amazon? Tony's saying we can't. That doesn't make sense. I thought uh, we could buy I heard about that today. Uh, that seems to be what I've read. I'm not, I haven't looked. I haven't confirmed. But it seems to be that third-party sellers aren't allowed to ship out anything. Like, you aren't allowed to buy non-essential goods from third-party sellers at the moment. No, it's not that. No, no, no. What they did, what the deal is, is that, okay, so there's two different ways that third-party sellers can sell on Amazon. They can ship all their stuff to Amazon and have Amazon ship that stuff out. Like, it's, it's there, right? Or the other option is is they can ship the stuff directly themselves. And so I think what this is is that Amazon is requesting not to ship non-essential stuff to Amazon. So, like, buyers can still buy it, like, if it's on the site. And I'm sure that Amazon still has, like, plenty of stuff, you know, still on their site and whatnot. It's just that, like, third-party sellers are not supposed to be shipping non-essential stuff. And, I mean, who knows how long that'll last. Anyway, I mean, it could be, but like, I don't think, I think the biggest question in general is going to be about like the post office. Like, is the, is there going to be any type of restrictions with uh, sending mail out? I think that that's really the biggest question that's going to, going to happen in, in general. But I, I don't know. I mean, I feel like in, in general, like we're going to have to get our stuff. You know, if you're ordering things off of Amazon or eBay, like ramen or just whatever, like food and things like that, or just essentials you may need, toiletries and whatnot, that, um, yeah, you know, that's going to take priority. So You never know, Lucas. You, you might have what? to get your government-issued Transformers when you get your government-issued rations there here in a little go. while. There you you never know. You know the, the, the mail will always find a way to deliver to me about 50,000 ads a week. <laughs> always it will never stop that that is that is true so if if only that can continue then then we'll be doing okay so right right but i mean it's i don't only know essential mail and i'll get like 30 credit card offers in a day thanks that's essential i'm just hoping that i can get animal crossing on friday so that i can uh from amazon so that i can uh have something to pass the time while I'm sitting here at home for forever. So, yeah, that would be nice. I, I definitely am going to. Um, I made the decision that my digital video game purchases are going to be completely like non filtered. It's going to be like if I want something, I'm just going to buy it. <laughs> just going to happen. Nice. Try to just relax a little. So. What the show is actually about is telling you to go and buy a different version of this guy because it's good. That's yes, still in like camera. Grapple. And personally, I think him. that you should, if you like Transformers, you should get every single version you possibly can of Fire Truck or Crane Person who turns into an anime robot. And I think that you will like all of them because they're all great. I don't really like the AMC one, but it's okay. I love it. It's so good. <laughs> oh I love this, Christian. Before you were like, oh, we never trash third party on the show, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You just said that to, An- to Anna. And then you're like, I don't I'm like that. Like, it's like, said, literally. I, I didn't like it. That MMC, so good. that MMC Inferno was Anna's first third party per- uh, purchase, Christian. Good. I'm glad she likes it. I didn't like it. I don't think it's trash. I just didn't like it. That's all. Love it, it wouldn't be my preference. Good. It's so good. It's I don't like have any strong feelings about it. It's like the the oh the, the uh, it's the definition of a cheesy '80s anime robot. That's what it is. I'll definitely give you that. The aesthetic of it is definitely that. Yeah, I love it. It's perfect. I just didn't enjoy transforming it. That's all. That's all it is. Oh, I actually didn't hate transforming it, but I'm much pickier about that than I used to be. So who knows? We're different people. It's okay. Tell you what, though, I didn't like transforming this. Oh no, I, I love the masterpiece. That. Oh, it's so awesome the way they did I had that. Had for the back twenty-four up. hours oh, no. before I I sold it. I was like, get out of my house. 
Yeah, I feel that way. The only reason I still have this, the only reason I still have our fire is because this target master is the best target master ever made on earth. So therefore I have to keep this thing to keep the target master. So, so Tony, uh, we, we haven't seen, or I personally have not seen the newest episode of Cyberverse because our, uh, our stream did not work out. Um, we only made it to episode 12. Yeah, so <laughs> I still am like, way behind, but I'm hoping to catch up with Cyberverse and, and get up to, to season three. So, Yeah, I'm all for I it. I'm, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out how I can just put a link up in Discord so I can like see if y'all will watch cartoons with me. That's something I want to do. So if I figure that out, I might start watching Cyberverse and see if people join me. Oh, and if you if you put a watch party together and we can watch together, then I'll watch. I, I'll do that. I I will enjoy it. I will talk the I'll whole time. I watched whatever episodes you told me to for watch you. for our book club. And we never had, we never met for book club. Yeah. What do we what do we, we watch one through five? Right? Was that what the deal was? Yeah, I think so. All the libraries so. are closed, so we can't have book clubs. <laughs> and libraries are closed. Just Maybe kidding. Closed. We can have book clubs. But you know what will help you through quarantine? Transformers, always. That's right. That's that's why I've got this whole huge rack of Transformers. It's actually mostly Star Wars model kits right now. <laughs> there you go. I I did see. I can't remember okay. where it was that like all the model kits were like gone from. I think it was over I in saw Japan that. Or something that like uh, other I saw a uh, picture from the Philippines today with that. Yeah, I only I have one model kit left to build. Kit. I have one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, nine left. Yeah. And one of them Anna gave to me. Woo! Yeah, so I only have one and then a couple Lego sets. So yeah. I did build a kit last night. I stayed up to about three thirty doing it. It's healthy. All right. Well, I think we probably now that we've like spent fifteen minutes after yeah, we said, "Hey, out, just buy like yeah, whatever." We probably, we probably go. should go. <laughs> um, I don't know if Rob's having ouch my wallet tomorrow night or not. Uh, he hasn't really said anything, so we'll see. Um, but uh, but yeah, and we'll have the regular TFLP next week. Uh, cut the tape, all that kind of good stuff. So, um, so. Yeah. And if we do have out to my wallet, you guys better be ready because I got a real humdinger to share. It'll be fine. Cool. Good so, word. Yeah, yeah. I haven't actually bought any Transformers for a while. So I'm, after I got done with Earthrise, I, I'm trying to think. I don't think I've Nothing else, else could sate his appetite after he tasted Earthrise. I know, right? Exactly. It's like I'm like, man, I'm done with everything else. So sell the rest of my collection off. So. I'm going to just narrate our podcast from now on. I'm not going to actually um, participate. If things go just the right way, we may be able to do Seacons next week. Ooh, Seacons. I don't know, Great. man. Oh. Uh, you, you think those those bad boys are getting shipped out from Hasbro? I get it 50-50 at this moment. Yeah, who knows. So, uh, yeah, but that would be great. If we, if we can get the Seacons in, I would love it, but... Anyway, um, all right. Well, uh, thanks everyone for joining and participating in the uh, chat. Uh, Randall and Tony, and and I guess uh, Rodimus on another platform. So, um, hey, check out our Discord. It is somewhat active. Sometimes I post at like two in the morning. Yeah, yeah. I thought that was crazy, but I'm not posting at two in the morning myself. But check out Anna and Paul and some of those other night owls are posting at two in the morning so it's all right but, all right well thanks everyone and we will catch you next week good night